I'm a Leticia this is Scorpion72, back again, back again, yeah, sorry, <laughs> we're with another review of the Teen Titans series from DC Collectibles, and we bring you Superboy, so here we have Superboy in his new 52 um, costume, um, as you've seen in my other reviews, Wonder Girl, Kid Flash, doing these reviews because the other members are coming out. You have um, Arsenal or Red Arrow that's coming out in Starfire, I believe by the end of this month, which is August. In September, you should be seeing Red Robin, and I'm not sure if there are any other members that have scheduled for that. But basically, if you're reading the comic, I haven't really caught up, I'll be honest. But I'm letting you know that if you like that comic, you like the team, you like the members, um, it's best you go and try to track down the first three that came out a couple of months ago because the rest of the team members are coming out and the first three might be a little bit harder for you to find by the time they come out. Um, it may be even harder for you to find now. I'm not really sure. Anyways, we're going to go, in, uh, go forward with Connor Kent here and go through review. So, first off, sculpting. Really, really nice. I like the metallic red you know, on its armor everywhere. And it's really embroidered, so it's really in-depth there. So it's not like a buck and it's just painted on. It's really, it's really like been sculpted. All the armor little lines, everything you see red, there's a depth to it and then it's a metallic red. Um, I've heard of some people getting some with like chip and everything, chip paint and stuff. I've been lucky. There hasn't been any chip paint or anything of mine. It is just nice, beautiful. I like metallic stuff. Anything that's really metallic, I like it. So, anyways, <laughs> articulation wise, um, head can go up, down, left, right. Shoulders go up and down. Got biceps, cuts, elbow, uh, elbow. <laughs> wrong cut, wrong figure. <laughs> elbow cuts, there's some swivel in both arms, uh, he doesn't have a waist swivel, so even though you see this little slight line in the back, it's not in the front, as you can tell, there's no, uh, which probably would have messed up the sculpting, so kind of don't blame him, but I can see where they could have put it, but either way, uh, legs go forward, uh, can slightly do the splits, uh, single knee bending and he has ankle articulation and he has a cut here just just above the ankle for swivel which is different from the other figures that um, I review because they didn't have that except for maybe uh, Cassandra Sandmark there Wonder Girl she had like boot articulation swivel so he doesn't have the boot so I guess this substitute for the boot articulation is having it just here above the ankle. Um, yeah, so he has that ankle swivel. So like always, they have pegs. So if you have any stands, apparently they're going to be coming out with stands uh, in the next two, three months. So basic stands for all your figures. In case you're wondering why. Remember DC Direct used to always include stands. They stopped that to put more into the figure, which is cool. And now they're going to be just selling the stands straight out for those who want stands for their figures. They're going to sell, be selling a pack of stands you can get from your local comic book shop. As I mentioned before, sculpting is really nice. I like the metallic. Um, yeah, the little hair out in the front. Um, not really my favorite Superboy. I don't know, there's the way, way classic ones where it basically looks like Superman with a cape and stuff. And then you have the other um, 90s version, of course, the most common, the most popular one is his t-shirt and jeans, even from Young Justice. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the Young Justice. I, that's a really great show. I, it didn't make any sense why they even canceled it. Like, I heard reasons and theories and stuff, but that was one of the best like DC cartoon shows that I had series going. You know? um, so... What I'm going to do now is do my normal uh, before and after. Alright, so here we have the before. On my right, you have the DC Universe uh, Classic Superboy. 
This is how he first appeared in the 90s after the death of Superman. There's a bunch of clones. And this is the way he appeared. With the, uh, he had this, um, he had the bodysuit, leather jacket, big S in the back, sunglasses, 90s style get up there. He had the gloves and everything like that. Um, his powers were like uh, telekinesis type powers, like he basically would touch something and make it explode or re reconfigure back into what it was. So this was the super boy that we were given compared to the other super boy from, um, uh, was it Earth Prime, which he was the only super boy hero of that Earth. And if you read like um, Infinite Crisis there, uh, um, is it, yeah, you see that, that afterwards when they did the story later on, like, um, uh, what you call it, uh, I, I, the name escapes you for that other, the other series where he went all mad and became, uh, Superboy Prime. So, yeah, he was really pissed off at the other heroes, so. This is what DC, um, Universe Classics did uh, a couple of years back in the series with, um, the, the DC Classics lines from Mattel. Another bad figure, you can actually see his eyes if you can lift up the glasses for those who have. Once again, if you want me to do a review, a full review on any of these figures, I can. I'm um, just going to be brazing through them as I go along. Here we have the DC Direct Connor Kent Superboy. Very popular, very uh, hard to come by figure. And very pricey if you do see one, unless you get lucky and you can nab yourself one. Still holds up to this day. I still like this figure, even though the articulation is pretty basic. He's quite a solid figure. Um, of course, uh, if you're wondering, the other Superboy in the back, this is the one that's coming out later this year. I believe he's going to be available uh, in September. The Connor Kent one from DC Direct, which I'm going to be doing a review of him uh, a little bit later on. That's why he's not really showcasing. He's kind of in the shadows. So yeah, a lot of the DC Signature Series figures because the description they go through last year. I have matched get my hands on pretty much all except two of them since the beginning, before the year began actually. So I'm missing now Doomsday which I'm going to be doing a review of once I get my hands on him which is going to be soon. And of course Damien Ring Robin. But it's not about them, it's about Superboy. So, as I mentioned before, local comic book shops, uh, online retailer, should still have these guys. Uh, sorry, not these guys. You never know, but at least Superboy here from DC Direct. Uh, DC Collectibles. See, it's just happened because DC Direct Eric has been around for so much longer than DC Collectibles. So, you might be hearing the slip of the tongue every now and then. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to you a quick uh, showing of all three. So there you have it, my little TCLs. Um, the review of the Teen Titans figures, as I mentioned in each one of my videos. Uh, these guys should still be available. Hopefully you can get them from your online retailers and uh, comic book shops. The other members are coming out within the next two months. You should have yourself um, three more members at the most, uh, maybe more. I have to double check on what's uh, going to be released. But as far as I know, there's three of them coming out: Starfire, uh, Arsenal, and uh, Red Robin. So you can have yourself six members of the Teen Titans by October. Or I believe like early October, mid October. Which is the time frame which these figures come out. So that's why I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys are reading the comics. Um, you like the figures. Now's the time to kind of pick these guys up. Because they probably will be harder to find later on. If they're not hard to find now. But I, um, I think I've seen some of them still available. So there you go. So um, until next time and my next reviews. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you then. Hello, TCL, Scorpion72, signing off. Take care.